Hey guys, it's Zoe, and today I am going to show you some really easy things. I mean, you can read the title. I'm trying to do this all in one shot, so it's minimal editing. Um, I'm with my new camera, it's very exciting. So I'm just gonna show you some really easy, um, very cost-effective items that you can use to make yourself look not gross. <clears throat> so, started off, we got this uh, vase line right here. Yeah, focus on that. Um, Vaseline, cheesy Louise. Uh, Vaseline is literally the easiest thing you can do. Let's say, um, I use this all the time. It's like the most reliable chapstick ever. Also, like, let's say you have like a scab on your face or something like this. Put Vaseline on that overnight, put a band-aid on it. It's like almost completely healed by the time you wake up. Moving on. Another super easy thing you can do to look less busted, wear your freaking retainer. I know um, initially it'll be super expensive, but it doesn't cost anything to wear it so your teeth don't look messed up later in life. Next, moving on to eyebrows. First, uh, Prestige. They have this ultimate brow liner. Focus, bud. Cool. Um, well, whatever. They have this brow liner. It comes, it's kind of like a roll-up stick. And then it has a spoolie brush on the end. And also Prestige has a lot of really good cheap products. They have some pretty reliable eyeliner. I used to use their mascara before it dried out. Uh, but also, ad in addition to brows, use a spoolie brush. This is one of the most versatile tools you can have in your like beauty kit collection at all. Um, focus? Okay, cool. Um, but I know a lot of people who just use like those straight brushes that have like the eyelash comb on the end. You do not want to use that for brows. You want to use this because, um, I'm gonna focus. I have this on autofocus, but <laughs> whatever. Um, <laughs> it's fine. Uh, but yeah, this is a lot easier for doing your brows, so you're always looking cute. Next, speaking of eye makeup, um, this is a Rite Aid thing, like it's a Rite Aid brand renewal. It's the Fix It Up Makeup Corrector Pen. I use this for eyeliner. It is like the best thing ever. There was like another cap that went on top of it um, that was like attached to this cap. It's really easy. It's just like a marker basically with makeup remover and it's really helpful if you're doing like eyeliner wings or if like I don't know, you make a mistake and you wanna take it off. You probably saw me use it um, in my Halloween video when I did the whiskers here instead of on my nose, um, cause I'm an idiot. And then also for my eyeliner, I use this Wet n Wild Mega Liner. Um, I really like it because it's so thin and it's a dip pot thing. I don't know like the technical term, but it's like a felt tip. Um, and you can get a really thin line with it. My hands are kind of shaky right now because I had coffee this morning and like not a lot to eat because I kind of forgot to eat, but like that's cool. I was watching Sherlock, so like eating isn't important. But yeah, you can kind of see how thin that gets. And it's really easy to make a sharp wing and to, I just realized I probably like hit the microphone when I was doing that, but whatever. But it's super easy to do like a really thin line if you're just looking for a subtle look. It's also very easy to do it on your lower lid, but obviously not on your waterline because it is liquid liner. Next, just in general, TJ Maxx and Marshalls and other related stores. This bedhead product is usually, I think it's like at least $10, maybe 15. It's the On The Rebound Curl Recall Cream. I use it after I get out of the shower, like a tiny, tiny bit, and I just scrunch it into my hair, and it gets your curls all formed and whatever, but TJ Maxx and Marshalls always have such cheap versions of these products. I think I got this for like $8, and that is, like I probably wouldn't have purchased this otherwise because like it, the bedhead products are really high quality. So, you know, they're usually pretty expensive and I'm not trying to break the bank to look cute, but TJ Maxx, Marshalls, you can find super cheap stuff. Next, um, get a setting spray. Elf has one for $3. I used to use it, it worked great. But another thing to remember is that um, 
because of how the applicator is, it's like a spray bottle. Um, it comes out in droplets, so you want to keep spraying around so you get like full coverage and it's not just like droplets that are set really well. Uh, this one is from Maybelline. It's the Master Fix by Face Studio, wear boosting setting spray, locks in makeup, long lasting finish. This isn't like a promo or anything. Um, but whatever. So this works really well. I just like spray it all over my face, especially if I have like some kind of event I'm going to, or if, I don't know, I'm at school, I wanna spice up my makeup and keep it on all day, if for whatever reason I decide to contour. Um, next, lotion. Lotion is your best friend. This is also by Vaseline. I really do love Vaseline. It's great. Um, I found this in like our medicine cabinet or like a like our medicine and band-aid closet and whatever. Um, I don't even know when we got this. This is probably honestly expired, but it still works really well. Um, I really like it because it has aloe in it and it is very has a very neutral scent, so it's not gonna like if you want to wear a perfume, it's not gonna interfere with that. The best way to use lotion after the shower, so you wanna get like an exfoliator pad or something. I have one, it was like $5.99 from Rite Aid. It's like Rite Aid brand. Like scrub your skin, it's not gonna hurt, but you'll definitely feel it. Um, and then once you get out of the shower, put like cover your body in lotion so you're just like one slick like lotion monster. Um, works really well obviously if you want to get something more natural uh, you can use like Lush or I know there's a lot of different like <laughs> natural brands but definitely Lush is a good bet but if you're looking for a cheap option Vaseline has you covered I put it on like my joints my elbows and my knees when I wake up um, I put it on my arms and my legs after the shower or like in the winter I always put it on my legs so I'm not looking crusty and then moving on to our final thing trying to make this quick. Come on, focus. Thank you. Um, all right. So this is a microfiber cloth. It's what the magic eraser is. If, if you've seen that, it's like a makeup removing thing. Um, it claims you can remove your makeup just with water. I personally have not used this, but I got a pack of three of these from Walmart for $5. And they're honestly some of the most like useful, uh, like multi-use products that I've ever used, or at least tools. I use this one, this particular one, to take off my makeup in tandem with this Almay eye makeup remover. <sighs> Jeez. Um, whatever. So, also another thing I would suggest, if you can get larger containers of eye makeup remover, they're generally more effective than just regular makeup remover because it, and it is more gentle, so like, you're not gonna irritate your skin as much. Also, I really like Almay um, because they're, I think they're cruelty free. <laughs> Last time I checked, um, but they're hypoallergenic. Um, they have really, they just have really good products. <clears throat> and this is a very effective makeup remover. There's also, this is the oil free version just to keep, you know, oil off, but they have an oil version, like it includes oil, and that can be more effective, especially with like waterproof eye makeup. But anyway, so back to the microfiber cloth, I use this one to make, take off my makeup, and then you always wanna make sure to rinse it out after you use it, so you don't like grow bacteria, and wash it with an antibacterial soap every like week or so, uh, just to make sure you're not like rubbing gross bacteria all over your face with dead skin, because that's nasty. I also use one to wash my face every morning, um, and then like wipe my face down if it's gross at night. <laughs> and that usually works pretty well for me. So uh, that's pretty much it. Just trying to go really quick. Also, I'm like kind of shaking because of the caffeine and I didn't eat a lot, but like it's cool. It's super rad. <laughs> I keep staring at the uh, viewfinder. That's what it's called, um, because I'm not used to this new camera, but I'm very, 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 very excited to try and produce some more short films. <sighs> okay, I need to like take a deep breath because I'm shaking right now. Anyways, I'm gonna try and produce some more short films uh, that are higher quality. I'm gonna try and get um, the like the Adobe version of iMovie. I forget what it's called, but it. Um, I'm gonna try and get some better software 
for video editing. Um, also, you can comment or like if you want to see like all of my lip products. I have an entire drawer of various brands, cheap and expensive, and I can give you like a rundown of what's good to use, what doesn't work as well, and different pros and cons of the different products. And um, I think that's pretty much it. Also, if you want to see like my favorite beauty products, I don't know, you can comment that below because I'm such like a, I'm such a YouTuber. I'm like a vlogger, like so many people look at this channel like all the time. <laughs> but anyways, I will see you guys later. I need to stop, I'm gonna just fold this back so I can't look at the viewfinder. Um, <laughs> so I will see you guys next time. I'm sorry for the long hiatuses between videos, but I'm lazy and I kind of hate using, um, the Microsoft editor that I have because it's just like annoying to use and it's iMovie is so much better but I only have that on my phone because I have a PC but anyways thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe and I uh, will see you next time bye